Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for this truss. So this is our task to find out the support reaction for the given truss. The there are different dimensions of the truss are given to us, like it is being supported by two supports here. One is the hinge support and one is the rotor support. So and there are three different loads acting on this truss. One is one is four kilonewton, one is five kilonewton, and one is three kilonewton acting literally on this truss. And the dimension for the truss are three meter, three meter, three meter, and vertical dimension of the truss is two meter. So to find out the support reaction for this truss, first I will start with the reactions like this the hinge support. So it can take the two reactions. One is the vertical. I can call it R A and one is the horizontal I can call it R A X because hinge support and hinge support can resist two uh, reactions one is vertical and one is horizontal and this is a rotor support so it can only take the vertical reaction so it will be R B only so to find out these reaction we can uh, use this simple equation that summation of moment let's suppose at any point equal to zero and let's assume the summation of moment at point E equal to zero and the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So this is our just sign assumption. You can also take uh, in the other direction the anti-clockwise is positive and the clockwise is negative. So after this uh, so we will take all the moment at point A equal to zero is we know that moment is equal to the the force into moment arm. So we should keep these two things in our mind. One is force and one is moment arm. So we can find out the moment by this formula. So summation of moment at point A at this point equal to zero. So the first force that creates a moment about point A is this one, three kilonewton. So it creates this three acting in this direction. So it creates the moment in the clockwise direction about point A. So it will be taken as positive because clockwise is taken as positive. A 3 and 2 moment arm. The moment arm for this load is the distance from this point up to A point. So the vertical distance, this whole distance is 2 meter here. So this is 2. So 2 here. And then the next force this create the moment about point A is this 4 kilonewton. So it is acting vertically 4 because this load is acting here and it also creates a moment about point A. In the clockwise direction so it will be again taken as positive force multiplying it with the moment arm the moment arm is the distance from this point this 4 into this a point which is 3 meter so this was the second force the third force that creates moment about point a is 5 kilonewton so this 5 kilonewton acting here so it is creating again the clockwise moment about point a because you see here clockwise so it will be again 5 into moment arm the moment arm is the distance from point from this point up to A. So this is a perpendicular distance. So it is this whole distance which is 3 and 3. So total is 6. The other force that creates a moment about point A is this reaction RB. But this force now creating the moment in the anticlockwise direction about point A. So it is anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative minus RB multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this B point up to A perpendicular distance. So it is this whole distance 3 meter, 3 meter into 3 meters so the total is 9 equal to 0. So if we shift this value into the right side, so we get 9 RB equal to this becomes 6. This becomes here 12 and this becomes here 30. So 9 RB comes out to be, if we simplify this, this comes out to be 48 and RB comes out to be if we divide this 48 by 9, 48 by 9, so we got here RB 5.33 kilonewton. So this is RB here 5.33 kilonewton. This is our RB value. Now how to find RA? So we can use simple equation that summation of vertical force is equal to 0. This equilibrium equation and let's assume the upper forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. Now what are the upper forces? The upper forces are only this one, RA and RB. These are acting in upward direction, so they will be taken as positive. 
so R A plus R B. The other force that acting in downward direction are four kilonewton and five kilonewton. So this will be taken as negative because it is acting downward. So minus four minus five equal to zero. Summation of all the forces equal to zero. Now as we know that R B is equal to five point three three here. So if we put this value here, so it will become R A equal to if we shift all these all values into the right side, so it will become five four nine minus R B. So R A comes out to be nine minus R B, and R A R B is given to us, which is five point three three here. So R A comes out to be three point six six kilonewton. So this is our R A here vertically acting three point six six kilonewton. Now to find out this horizontal direction of the A, so this is very easy because there is only horizontal force acting. In this direction, only one horizontal force, three kilonewton, and there is only one support that can take the horizontal force. So it is only this support. Is this support cannot take the horizontal load? So the whole load will be taken by this support. So by using the equilibrium equation, summation of all the vertical forces is equal to zero. So R A X will be equal to the three kilonewton because this is the only support that can take the horizontal load, and this is the only horizontal load acting on the truss. So hope you guys understand how to find out the different support reaction by the equilibrium equation summation of moment summation of moment at any point equal to zero and summation of vertical and summation of horizontal forces equal to zero you can find out the support reaction for any kind of truss hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video